good morning. Good morning. Having a nice morning commute once again. Five o'clock in the morning. Fall, dark time. Um, I don't know how many ways of saying it I can, but once again, I'm going to say it. I don't know how anybody is not seen through some of this veil. <coughs> A lot of people have, but those that are on the other side of it are being shouted out to, to, to open their eyes and they just don't see it. Um, we could be frustrated with our legal system. We could be frustrated with our politics, with our government. Okay. But no matter the frustration, you don't taint it. You don't turn around and, and, and say it's all corrupt. Okay. I've heard people, and I've even said it, that the politicians are all corrupt or whatever. Well, yeah, but hey, we're the ones that put them in there. We only, we the people have only, we the people to blame. Okay. If you put a person in power and they abuse it, well, vote them out. And if they go one step further, i.e. in the case that we've ran into lately, <clears throat> it's our job to even call it out more. Yea, though they may uh, brainwash or, or whatever other people into their cause. Okay. Um, it needs to be called out, and we've been trying to call it out. And so, my point that I was going to try bringing up is, um, I don't know how many other ways of saying it, but when you have a person of power, and that power can be an actor, it could be a politician, it could be whatever. The power meaning the power that they have the ability to call a press conference at the snap of a finger. I'll say it that way. You and I, or common folk, have to put money out just to take a page out on a newspaper in a dwindling industry at that um, to make any kind of wave, okay? These people can go, I need to call a press conference, and they've got major networks right there by their side. Okay? I've brought this up before. I don't care for this topic right now. I don't care about the insurrection. I don't care about the papers. Um, I don't care about any of the other stuff, the, the overturning an election and stuff like that. The simple, most simplest example of a problem with a person, and yet people are still going to defend him. But I know it, it it's <clears throat> chipped away at a, at a very small hole. <clears throat> so people can see through it. We had people that were in power, in that power, in that capacity, with the full capability of calling a press conference. And what did they do? They abused it and still continue to do so with lies. But they abused it on, on a level that every single common person in America should have freaked out about. And I'm talking about when he 
and I, when a judge, when a, when a judge, when a lawyer and a former president turned around and ridiculed and degraded and and ripped into two common people doing their job. Two ballot workers. And when they said that, and it and it destroyed temporarily their lives. They were saying it without without even a thought about what they were doing. They were to, they were saying that hopefully to gain on their own account without thought of what it would do to the other person. That other person or those persons being women that have that have no voice basically outside of a small circle that have no ability to just call up a press conference at the snap of a finger the line that she says you know what it's like to be attacked by and it doesn't matter if it's the president of the United States do you know what it's like to be attacked by somebody who has that kind of power. It, it ruins everything. It completely destroys everything that you know around you. It puts you into suspect. Whether it's true or not, it puts you into suspect. Whether it's false or not, it puts you in a position and you have no way of fighting it. No fucking way of fighting it. And excuse my language, but if that's shocking to you, then you're missing the point. Because every single one of us, if the perfect storm came around, can be put in that position. During the course of that whole phase, I was the I was one that was turning around and going, if someone came walking into your job and uh, and observed you, whether knowingly or not, observed you uh, for a couple hours and then either came back and said you're doing your job wrong even though they've never done it before. Or they turned around and went on a, on a public arena and, and ridiculed your way of doing it. That's, that's but a glimpse of what had happened. Okay? And when they do that, it calls out people. It's basically like a, 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 I hate to say it this way, it's basically like the devil calling out demons. There's a whole bunch of people that believe, that will believe him, and some of them will take it upon themselves just because they have nothing better to do in their lives to make those people's lives a living hell, even though they know nothing about what's going on. Okay? And on the surface, those that know the industry knew damn well that what a lawyer and a president were saying were wrong. They knew damn well that they were by looking at a video and going, that's normal procedure. I don't know what you're looking, what you're seeing. And yet... We allowed it to, to go like it was gospel truth. And that right there 
you want to talk disheartening about the government, disheartening about the system, disheartening. That right there was a disheartening for me. That right there was a turning point for me to realize, you know, this is what used to happen to peasants when the king would come, would send his his uh, his henchmen into a uh, small village. This is exactly that kind of a dictatorship concept. And what goes wrong. And people have got to realize that. People have got to see that. For what it is. This is in America. When that happens. Stop believing the lies. There's my rant for today. As mellow as I can say it. Okay? As logically as I can say it. As honest as I can say it. Nothing but love. Have yourself a beautiful day.